You're listening to The Radcast, a top 25 worldwide business podcast. If it's radical, we cover it. Here's your host, Ryan Alford. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the latest edition of The Radcast. It's Friday, February 10th, one day after my sister's birthday. Happy (laughs) birthday, Ryan's sister. Stephanie. Yes. Good for her. Did you celebrate? Did you have cake? Oh, we had lots of cake well and should. we ate it too. Mm, <laughs> there you go. Yes. Best way to have it, yes. in my opinion. She's 50. You can't tell us that. Five Redacted, zero. Nicholas. Take it out. <laughs> Five zero. <laughs> Good it's for a big it. Number. Is this the one I met? Uh, yes. I would I only never have one, in a million so. years have thought that. Yeah. In a million years. Good, good offer, jeans. Yeah. yeah. Those genetics. Hopefully they stick around for (laughs) yours truly. You're doing okay. Yes. Well, we'll see. It's uh, it's been a good week. Lots happening. A lot's happened. You know, pop culture. Tis the season. Sports. Award season. Sports ball season. Breaking records on many fronts. March Madness starts in a couple weeks. I know. It's like all around us. Right. The big super. The big game. (laughs) <laughs> like you have to say Big it that way. Games. If we were promoting it, uh, like literally the Super Bowl, like when you see, uh, you'll watch a TV commercial. Here's a little inside scoop for the ad business. The way you promote and get the shared interest for the Super Bowl without saying, because you can't say the Super Bowl. That's it's trademarked. Like we can say it on this show because we're a news and talk Aha. show. We're not marketing or we're not like trying to get. I didn't like, know this. But like if you'll see like a local. Uh, a local store that obviously has doesn't have a budget, like do a TV commercial. Right, and like, like if they're selling get electronics for the big game or, or something. Yes, gets mm-hmm. that. Or uh, yeah, you need you need a new TV for the big game. <laughs> That's the way of saying the Super Bowl. That's so interesting. Without saying it, they won't say the Super Bowl big in the commercial because huh. they can get sued. Right. So good stuff. Yeah, there you have More it. You know. <laughs> so More be you careful know. if you uh, put Super Bowl in your ad, you get sued and. Not be in Sued business anymore. Per bowl. I'll stop. Sued per bowl. <laughs> <laughs> On to uh, other uh, see what you did there. records. Yeah, failed is what I did there. That's what <laughs> I did there. But it's fine. Uh, but speaking of the big game, dear LeBron James broke the NBA scoring record. What, last night? Two days ago? Yes, two days ago. Beat Kareem Abdul Jabbar's record. Mm-hmm. Now the most points ever scored. I mean, yeah. the longevity that he's had. Like, I remember when he came out, like, he was one of the, the first, like, out of high school. It's like Kevin Garnett was like one of the originals. And I played with Kevin actually. He's from South Carolina. Yeah, I played at Malden High uncle. School. Mm-hmm. We kicked some ass on an AAU team that never lost. And uh, it, the, uh, but LeBron, I feel like it was a while ago. You yeah. Know, it was like right out of school. Right. He is the, just the amount of hours and like the longevity he's had mm-hmm. to like get this record. He's still one of the best players in the game. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And you know, yeah, he's like the Tom Brady of basketball. <laughs> I feel bad too. Cause he's had on a team that I don't think has a chance to win it this year. Sure. And it's like a shame. Cause like he's, he's still so, so great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hear that. But uh, I mean, it's the NBA score record. Probably right. it might get beat, but I don't know. I don't know if it's anytime scores. soon. I don't think. Like maybe Luca is young enough or one of these yeah. younger guys that because Luca's like twenty three, yeah. he scores a ton of points. I don't know. He'd have to, but he to, he's just not going to stay healthy. Like right. LeBron's just longevity is like the right. the unbelievable. Like he's six eight, right. my the, size, the, the two sixty. That you can't. Yeah, like that have never been repeated. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll see. Congrats to LeBron. Speaking of records, yeah. Beyonce, huh? Congrats to Beyonce for breaking the record for the most Grammys won. She has won 32 Grammys in her lifetime. You know, I'm very happily married, but she is one of the most beautiful people on the planet. I oh, think. She, yeah, I agree. I think she's stunning. No, I think and she's an absolute obviously force, too. Such a talent. Yeah. I mean, thir- only 32. Like, does it, does it just get old now? Like, oh, let's put it over there with the others. Well, it's interesting, <laughs> though, because she's never won album of the year. And so there was kind of an upset this year when Harry Styles won because you right. know, she's been nominated so many times and has won so many times, but has never taken that award home. Total package. Right. Amazing. Her and Jay Z seem to still be 
Yeah. Kicking it. All their babies. Says a lot for like what, what celebrity couples go through. Truly. That they've kind of battled through. Not that, that I've even been aware that they've had troubles, but like just. And that's the key, right? Is they keep it so private. Yeah. That's so. what I've gleaned from celebrity relationships. Smart people mm-hmm. doing smart things and super freaking talented. <laughs> Must suck to be them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Another uh, musician who is no longer with us, RIP, but is in our news uh, Michael Jackson's estate is nearing a music catalog sale worth 800 to 900 million dollars. Yeah. Uh <laughs> you may people may wonder like is, is another lesson in like marketing with why these music catalogs are worth so much. Mm-hmm. So they they're they're drawing a lot of valuation because one people buy these things and they have obviously the assets to do it, but then they bring residual money. It's kind of like you know, with stocks that pay dividends every year, but mm. this is like on another level because these music catalogs, these songs like Michael has umpteen hits and everything, the commercial usage in them, right? The streaming in them, the copyright specials, all the copyright stuff, all that stuff just keeps paying and paying yeah. over time. Well, now and there's it's a, like a musical and a biopic coming out, and you get. All of that. Yeah. And so like one Michael Jackson hit for like a big name commercial, like what it's millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. So times, however many other times it gets right. used like or commercialized. The and then the, the, it's still getting, you know, tens of millions of dollars in streaming. That's like uh, buying royalties every almost, year. You know? Yeah. You buy it and you're getting the, but you're still getting to rent it out. Right. Right. You you're know, still like, leasing it. <laughs> yeah, you're leasing the songs out. That's yeah. really the, that is that's a great analogy. That's really kind of how it is. But that's why these things are selling for so much. But uh, let's just call it a billion dollars. Why don't we? Eight hundred, nine hundred million. Right. Can we just round up? You know, <laughs> that, I would. Does this mean Paris and the rest of the Jacksons are, I guess, not in bad shape or anything? I think monetarily. they're doing just fine. <laughs> I, I don't would, know how much uh, of that they own, but I'm sure they're getting argue. some piece. They're doing okay. You know, maybe just a tenth of it. Yes. So, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Man, but what an artist, though. I mean, God, I mean, I know. The, the, he really encapsulated so many genres of music and so many, like, I don't know, he sang about everything. Right. And, and really his evolution from the Jackson 5 yeah. to being, like, breaking away and being his own icon. Yeah. Just, I mean, I still listen to a lot of his hits and, like, oh, yeah. you throw it on. It's timeless. Thriller? Like, it's Every like, year. Yeah, and like, don't stop till you get enough. You kidding? You throw that on at any time, and you're like, "This is Man relevant the today." Listen, yeah. listen. Oh yeah, gets me in my feelings. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get Nick in here dancing. Today. There you go, <laughs> Man in the Mirror. Mm-hmm. You got your dancing shoes on, Nick. Yeah, not today. I need to bring him in. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're supposed to say uh, any shoes, dancing shoes, All shoes for me. Are dancing shoes. <laughs> in these flops, <laughs> flip flopping it. I can shag it up in these things now. Oh I'll yeah, what. sliders. <laughs> Hope you guys checked out this past week's episode, part two of Mike C-Rock Scirocco. Great episode. Mike's super cool. Really valuable insights on business and mindset. Great episode. Next week, we've got a really good episode. We've got some of the best of the best of our ladies that have come on. The unbelievable entrepreneurs we've had on uh, on the show. All the best women in business and Oh, I'm staring at quite a few of them on the wall here. I know, many of them are on the wall. Yes. Very diverse in their skill sets, but all badasses in their own right. And I'm excited to put that out, share that. And uh, I think you'll be impressed. You'll learn a lot and really great perspective. So look for that next week. And uh, got a special surprise coming in a couple weeks. It's a a TikTok viral hit. Uh, That's all I'm going to say. Ooh. So teaser trailer that'll be coming up really special guest the guest of honor for all of our shows lately though has been uh vacay it, it truly has been and i've been uh dabbling even more with their <laughs> <Yes>. products <laughs> and i will say while the sleep gummies are great and amazing and absolutely work for me i've been taking delta eight gummies mm-hmm. at night um on the weekends because they like knock me out and i have some really weird funky dreams but <laughs> It's like the best night's sleep I've ever had in my life. So, Vacay, best third-party lab-tested CBD in the country. You can check them out at takeavacay.com. They've got disposables, Delta 8, gummies, sleep gummies, all kinds of stuff. Different strengths. If you're not a wimp like me, you can go up a little bit. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But if you are a wimp like me, it's good stuff. It's not going to mess you up. 
Yeah. Low, medium, high. Can, Great. I can speak from experience. <laughs> yes. 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 So it's, it's interesting to hear that they all, I think they all have that sedative right. effect a little bit. Right. That's kind of part of the benefit. But like and I said, so, I took half at work and I was yeah. still like able to get my shit done. It was a little bit harder. Yeah. But you were much easier I to deal with done. that day. I, I couldn't figure I? out. Yeah. Why. Yeah. So much more docile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> didn't fight back as much over right, right, right. Uh, everything. She was as opinionated. So um, I guess it worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be another selling point, you know, for everyone out there, you know, someone yeah, at work is a pain in your rear. If you're threatened by strong women, you out. can just take it down. Hey. No. <laughs> like how I twisted that. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but, it worked. Hey, it chilled Ashley out when we had events. This is true. She took some. <laughs> Takes quite a bit to chill her She out. took a little bit more than she should have, but still yeah. recovered. It's still great. It is. Takeavacay.com, the official CBD sponsor of the Radcast. Go give them some love. Great products. Third-party tested, as Christina mentioned. And this is the premium stuff, folks. Yeah. Don't have to question what you're getting. Good quality and another way to relax with natural ingredients that will not uh, surprise you right. in not bad gonna ways. Right, not going to fuck with you, Yeah, for lack of a more truthful way of yeah. saying that. <laughs> but that's more direct in the reality of it. So give them a shout out. Take a vacay yeah. dot com. Got some social media holidays. Yes. Will you be celebrating National Guitar Day tomorrow? I would be if I had my uh, guitar here in the room. Mm. Uh, I have to play it at home, I guess. There you go. You can post TikTok. Yeah, there we go. National See? Guitar Day. Crossover. Shared you know, interest. I never put that on I social. I do listen. I always feel like that guy, though. Like, you know, putting yourself on social media, playing the guitar is kind of like, I don't know. Listeners like, of the Radcast, please uh, <laughs> comment on this video and let us know that you want Ryan to post yes. a TikTok play of a his serenade. guitar. You play can play a, some Michael Jackson. I can play, uh, that's a difficult. Uh, <laughs> I can get like the beat going or sure, something. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. And then National Inventors Day. Yeah. It's also sad. You could like invent your own guitar. Yes. Or... Invent something else. Else, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I mean, it, it's funny. I think of entrepreneurs now, and but inventors and entrepreneurs are a little different. Yeah. Uh, what's like the next thing that's going to be invented? Like, what's going to be invented? Like, uh, the metaverse has already been <laughs> invented. Like, how that's to get a good out? Question. How to get out of the metaverse? Uh, yeah, I think it'll be something internet. A spaceship related. that gets you to Mars. I mean, it's kind of like. Just, I'd just settle for jetpacks, you know, yeah. I'd settle for like flying, flying cars would be awesome. Yeah. I know they've talked about that, yeah. but you know, that's one of those things that, that I'm like, it's out there. We just can't access it yeah, as the exactly. public. Get on it, Elon. Abe Lincoln's birthday. Yes. Which is the same day as the Super Bowl. February 12th. Yeah. So everything in moderation, including moderation. That's my favorite quote. Supposedly a tribe to, uh, it let Abe Lincoln. Yes. I've heard some people say that that's bullshit, but Honest Abe. I'm sticking with it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a good a, quote nonetheless. It is. I mean, I'm very moderate on my moderation. Um, try to very go really easy on <laughs> how many things go I'm easy on going easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go easy on going easy on Sunday at the Super Bowl. So I'm going to be in Asheville. Ash Vegas. A little couples trip. Oh, for Valentine's so. Day. Yes, so I'll be uh, getting away. So you'll be and missing our social house watch party. I will be. I'll be in Asheville with with a couples group, our supper club. Oh, so yeah, I guess that's a good enough reason. Watch I will pass. say this: I got to give a shout out to my boy uh, Jaron Johnston. We were at the the Cadillac Three concert last yes, week. Saturday. Holy moly! Awesome, amazing concert. One of the best bands in music right now. They put on a show. It's a three piece band, Cadillac Three. Yeah. That sounded like there was twelve people on stage, lights, camera, and he's action. written for a billion people. It yeah, sounds, it seems like super cool watching the show. And then you know we did get on the tour bus after the show, casual, going just dropping on, hanging that. out with Jared. <laughs> and if you've heard of a thousand horses, Michael Hobby. If you follow country music, you'd know the song. Go go Google Smoke, and you'll go. I know exactly who that is. Number one hit forever, like a few years ago. Got a new album out, and Michael Hobby's coming on the show in two weeks. <gasps> lead Exciting. singer coming into the studio, coming in to the studio for an interview in the next few weeks. We'll have a whole welcome package. He's got a new album out, and uh, he's just a cool dude. Yeah. We spent a lot of time talking on the tour bus, on Jaren's tour bus. Sick. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and Jaren, we've got to have something up our sleeve for a little live radcast on the road in Nashville. More to come on that. Spoilers. Yes. This is news lots to of spoilers. Me. So uh, be on the lookout. So I had to drop tease. that in there. So, but Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. 
coming up this weekend. And Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. The 13th. February 13th. Yeah. I think we got a little Valentine's floral thing here we this do, week. We do, but that's uh, tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So. Some good stuff. Making some flowers. As Miley yeah. said, you can buy yourself flowers. Yes. World Radio Day on Monday. Yeah. There you go. It's kind of like this, kinda this podcast, like podcast is kind day. of the modern radio, yes. right? You know? So we need to celebrate that. I feel like more people listen to podcasts than the radio. I certainly do. Yep. And then we have um, Valentine's Day. Valentine's the Day. Yes, resistance of February. Yes. I can say this because Nicole doesn't listen to our show, but um, unless I like make her to, or somebody, <laughs> one of her friends will tell her, uh, did you hear Ryan say that? <laughs> She'll go listen. Uh, but yeah, I already. I, so I, what are you I getting her my, for Valentine's oh, I, Day? I, I, I do my Valentine's shopping on February 1. Okay. I get the uh, 24. I, I always asked the florist, I was like, Whatever the largest bouquet that's going to rent middle school that day, make it 10% bigger. That's so good. And so she always gets the biggest floor arrangement there. She doesn't oh, I know, love so that. I know that. That's really, really sweet. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, big I time. I respect that. The, uh, the, that's on February 1. I said it's a yearly reminder. So I've done that last couple of years. And uh, so, yes, Valentine's Day, Nicole will be getting a big uh, red rose bouquet. Love it. Biggest one in the school. Heck yeah. <laughs> Can't get out done now, you know? Right. She earned it. Absolutely. Oh, uh, social media news. We got some. <clears throat> TikTok is back in the news. Feels like they never leave. And they are crushing YouTube and annual studies of kids and teens who use the app. In June 2020, TikTok overtook YouTube for the first time. And now it's, they're up to like seven, 107 minutes a day, whereas YouTube's up to 67 minutes. Yeah. Well, I can tell you this. My kids aren't on TikTok. So, I mean, I don't know with kids, like... Uh, teens, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to try to, I'm aiming for like 15 if I can keep mine. Sure. Uh, you know, do they have cell phones? he's 13. They do. But so he doesn't, he doesn't have a TikTok yeah. account, doesn't have mine or his mom's sure. or anything like that. And, uh, does but he they want do, that? You, does they he do. like push for it no, at all? No, because they watch YouTube shorts. Sure. They're kind of the opposite of this study, but I know the study's accurate yeah. because I see the usage and see that well, those are I, teens. It's like people in, like, I know that there have been interviews with, people who work in Silicon Valley and they keep their kids off of all social media. So I feel like since you work in this industry, yeah, that I, informs I, I kinda, a lot of those decisions. I know, yeah, I know what, I think it has a lot of good and yeah. I wouldn't be in the business if I thought it was all bad. Right. But I just know that they don't, I don't want them There's to, a protection to experience and, that yeah, until yeah, yeah. it's necessary. Right. There are things you want to teach them. You don't want them learning on the internet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ideally, you know, so, <laughs> but that, again, it is fascinating that it's past YouTube and YouTube is so much older yes. than TikTok. is why, why I think I'm fascinated by it. But all this to say two things, we've said it before. If you're, if you're not marketing on TikTok, you're late to the game, need to be marketing there, but just be aware that right. if the U S government had their druthers, they'd have it shut right. down already. So you, I wouldn't go all in, but I'd at least be there while it, the getting's good. Right. Cause that's where the people are. It is. It's not just the kids, but yeah. it's a lot. But I, and all this to say, YouTube's still a behemoth. <laughs> so <laughs> also that, like if you, if you flip flop this for, uh, you know, 30 to 40 year olds, I think, uh, YouTube's probably like going up, Yeah. but, uh, TikTok's just a beast now. So yeah. I don't know my brain, it kind of makes my brain burn a little like <laughs> this one, <It's>, but <laughs> I am on it. So much like it, it really, it's the one app that I'm like, this is borderline Using addictive, too much time. right? I do this yeah. too much. <laughs> yes. That and uh, Pinterest, which is our next topic. I yes. love this because Pinterest is my favorite. Uh, they have reached 450 million monthly users and we'll start focusing on making videos more shoppable to attract Gen Z. I mean, there's such a niche for them. I mean, that's why there's these new social media. I mean, Pinterest has been around for 20 years, or yeah. not 20 years, probably 15. Close to it. But and so it's not new, but it's niche. I mean, it's yeah. very niche market, and they're still growing. Uh, and they've embraced video the last couple of years, so now they're making it more shoppable, which yeah. makes a lot of sense. And I think you're going to see this stuff continue to grow. I think uh, people are getting. There's just enough to go around. There's enough attention and time to go yeah. around. And I think as people get fatigued on other platforms. And they use Pinterest. 
It's so specific, though, I think, for ideas and for That's exactly what I was cooking, say. decorating, yeah. clothing. Like it's, it's like a different form of consumerism, whereas yes. I feel like everyone, we can say that social media is for entertainment, but at the end of the day, you get on social media and you are like a consumer, yeah. right? And you get on Pinterest, and that's why I think it's interesting that they've, they're adding this sales approach because while it is consumerism, it is so much more use what you have, they, they be inspired. Curate, curates, it's not the shopping mall of the now. Right, it's not like, Etsy, you know? Yeah, it's not that it's, niche. No, but it is, it's a totally different, I don't know, the way that people digest that content for what purpose is just so yeah. unique, I think, for I true, I think a lot of social media has become entertainment. Mm -hmm. Pinterest is very functional, sure. I think, for the reason. Totally. You're not really going to Pinterest for entertainment, you're going for inspiration. Right. Right. It feels so drama free. It's just yeah. like, I'm going to find a recipe or how to style this garment or whatever. Yes. I love it. So, Been on it for over a decade. <laughs> well, they've got their audience and they're growing. Because I'm and, old. Yeah, yeah, you're so old. Ancient. Yeah. Uh, this next article is fascinating. Microsoft Edge Web Browser gets the chat GPT feature. So how do we feel at this? We talked about chat GPT last week. I don't think this can what save Microsoft Edge because no one uses it. You know, because I mean, let's be honest, they use Google. Google's coming out with their own version of this. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. I don't know if you can just type your own, you know, papers now right in the Edge browser. Maybe it's, get some college kids to go over. It's going to be interesting <laughs> but, to see how that affects it. Yeah. I mean, it's smart for Microsoft who owns uh, and has heavy stake in uh, OpenAI and chat GPT. To ma it makes sense. But, you know. It's fascinating for me purely for a use case for how it gets integrated into search behavior. Mm -hmm. I'm less fascinated by the fact that it would motivate me to use uh, Microsoft Edge, though. Yeah, and, I get that. You know, I'm going to go Google <laughs> how not to use it. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think Google will probably come up with their own, but I saw a video last night talking about how it's going to be integrated, and it yeah. puts little little blurbs over to the side, kind of summarizing the information. Yeah. And it also presents the uh, actual search results right beside that. I just saw a video last night on that. So yeah, huh. it would just have to be mind blowingly useful right. to get me off of like Chrome or, you know, yeah. even internet, not internet explorer, Safari, but Safari. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or explorer, <laughs> even worse, R. I. older version of edge. <laughs> R. I. P. I'm aging myself. Uh. <laughs> I think we have time for one more article in the marketing world. Yes. Old Spice has revealed their first brand mo mascot as a Super Bowl ad. Uh, they introduced their first mascot who's to endorse Smelf Confidence. And his name is Swaggy Spice, an anthropomorphized stick of the Procter & Gamble brand's deodorant. And he, she, it, they will make its debut during the Super Bowl. You really work through that term very, very I feel like I've had to say it before on the podcast. <laughs> I'm glad you had to say it, not me. Anthropomorphized. Anthropomorphized. <laughs> it's, I love the words. Swaggy spice. Anthropomorph anthropom from, now I can't say it, but. I like smelf confidence. Smelf confidence you know, is so good. That's funny. Smelf. It's kind of a fun word. And smelf. it's a little, yeah, like, like smurf. Like a smurf, but smelfy earth. Yeah. Smelfy smurf. Like an elf. A smurf <laughs> and an elf. Yeah, dude. But yeah, and this is this goes back to my musical theater roots. So it's a big <laughs> musical number <laughs> with Swaggy Spice. Okay. Um, so check out the Super Bowl. Watch Old those Spice ads. is fun. It'll be interesting. You know, it's kind of the mecca of advertising and ads is the Super Bowl. So yeah. I think next week we'll definitely do our, it will be a little. I know, it's my inaugural one. I'm very excited. Yes, we'll do a uh, best of the Radcast breaks down it. You know, the way the news cycle moves so fast now, everybody would be like probably bored of it. But I think we'll uh, we'll bring a hot we'll take revive a hot take and uh, award best ad of the Super Bowl by the Radcast. Yeah. I think we should need to have like the Raddies or something, you know, and have like awards. That's fun. That, <laughs> you know? I, I like that. That's good. And, That's uh, good. <laughs> you know, who won? Uh, the Raddies. Yes. Who won the Melfiest, we could uh, do we could do something with that. <laughs> yeah, I see, can workshop that. Something something we can do there. Yeah, but I think we'll, we'll have fun with that. We'll break down uh, the winners, the losers, and the honorable tell you, mentions. And I like I'll reverse engineer like a creative brief on maybe like one of the best ones to explain the uh, the strategy, the behind the scenes of what happened to make that ad come to life. Having worked on a few of these myself back in the day, back in the day, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> 
There we have Good it. Stuff. Tight 25 minutes here on our weekly marketing and business news edition. Your number 19 podcast in business in the U.S. So we appreciate mm-hmm. everyone just hit top 20 this week. We appreciate all the listeners and hey, keep keep coming. Keep bringing it. We need top 10. We yep. can do it. Yeah. Breaking barriers. Any final words from the crew? Watch the Super Bowl, y'all. Tune yep. in next week. Super Bowl. Who's winning? Or the big Quick. game. Ooh. The big game. Oh, nope, the big game. Chiefs or I Eagles? Think it's the Eagles. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's who I'm. Yeah, you care, Nick? Got a pick? Uh, not really. I'm just going to show up to the old social house watch party and see who wins. You have any uh, dog in the fight whatsoever? Yeah, not this time. Yeah. I was hoping Trevor would get in there, but. Yeah. Didn't. He, he's coming. He'll be he's a got couple time. more years. He's old youngster. He's only like 22 years yeah, old. Yeah, rookie. Yeah, I think the Eagles have got it. I like Jalen Hurts' story, too. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll talk about it next week. All the ads for Christina Yossi, Nick Weaver. I'm Ryan Alford. We'll see you next time on the Radcast. To listen or watch full episodes, visit us on the web at theradcast.com or follow us on social media at our Instagram account, the.rad.cast or at Ryan Alford. Stay radical.